My name is Nick, but most people know me as Forks. I live in Australia and I've been an active furry for 12 months. The furry fandom has been around in Australia for over a decade and recently it has grown to be a massive subculture and getting a lot of media attention. Unfortunately, a lot of this attention is very negative and causes us a lot of problems getting accepted by society. It is an ongoing battle for us to overcome all of the hate that is directed towards the fandom. Excuse me, I'm Catherine Willows. I'm with the Crime Lab. So you guys are married? No, we're just yiffing. You what? Yiffing. Yiffing? Yes. What does yiffing mean? Mating. Mating? I'm so confused. confused. Oh, yeah, there you go. What, what are you guys doing? Oh, get oh, there. What the? What oh, is Oh, right that? there, right there, right there, right there. Oh, yeah! Oh, Lord of mercy. Staying in South America, have you seen the latest craze hitting the streets of Mexico? This is the furry movement, and it's sweeping northern Mexico. Converts design their own animal costumes, often based on cartoon characters, and then go out and about. What a bunch of dicks! <laughs> Just be comfy in your own skin. Crazy. The Chicago Tribune, 19 people were hospitalized at a furry convention in Il Illinois after what's being called an intentional lake of chlorine What's gas. a furry convention? Did I get that wrong? Oh, gosh. Okay. Sent the hotel guests along with convention attendees into the cold night, many still dressed in their furry, furry <laughs> costumes. It is understandable that the public are cautious in misunderstanding the furries. People often assume furries to be crazy, sexual deviants, or even pedophiles because the media has us all in constant fear about the worst things in society. Some media does try to set things right though. The reason why we decided to do this story is because last month there was a scare at the Enfield Library when a person walked in dressed as an animal and that freaked out the librarians because a child approached the person. At the time the library didn't understand that it was just a furry well, we wanted to get a better understanding of what furries are and to clear up misconceptions. And what we found is with furries, there's really nothing to fear. The fandom itself is very accepting of all people. Shy, anxious, quiet, loud, different, cool, sporty, nerdy, straight, gay, transgender. Pretty much whoever you are, it doesn't matter to the furry society, as long as you aren't a bad person. Queensland's capital, Brisbane, is home to the South Bank Fur Meet which has recently become the world's biggest weekly fur meet with up to 20 fursuiters and 80 non-suiting furries turning up every Tuesday night. It's a chance for furries to catch up, share stories and artwork, enjoy a barbecue and go on the weekly fursuit walk around the parklands to get photos and entertain the public. In my 12 months, I have come to know many amazing people within the fandom and it has really helped me discover my social side. I used to be the person who just sit at home and play games and watch TV or movies. But ever since I discovered SBFM and gotten myself a fursuit, I look forward to making the trip to Brisbane every week. The public at the Parklands are generally very accepting of us, and we love interacting and putting on a bit of a show for them. SPFM is getting bigger every week, and it's a good example of how the furry fandom is growing bigger and more popular within Australia. The furry community is incredibly creative. All of the characters are unique and designed by artists or the person themselves. People can commission artists to draw their characters from anywhere between $1 to several hundred dollars, depending on the style, size, and detail they want. Fursuits start with a reference sheet, and then they can be commissioned from between $500 to $10,000, again, depending on the level of quality and detail of the character. This allows many talented artists to make their livings entirely from the furry fandom. Many furries are also photographers and cinematographers who use the opportunity to create unique photos and videos to share with the world. Corey Karma is one that I have met who has over 100,000 views with videos featuring him. Hello YouTube, it's me, Corey Karma, here to do a nice little music video for you. I hope you like it and I hope to see you all at some point. Australia has five major furry conventions every year. Furwag in Perth, Fur Jam in Sydney, Riff Fur in Brisbane, Convergence in Melbourne, and Furdu at the Gold Coast. While many furries travel to all of them, I've only been lucky enough to attend Furdu so far. 
I decided to video my experiences. Furry was started in 2010 by a small group of furries and it has fast become one of the biggest fur cons in Australia, held every year during May at the Gold Coast. In 2015, Furry sold out the hotel and had 500 furries in attendance from Australia and all over the world. These conventions allow furries, fursuiters and artists to all come together to share our interests, sell products in the dealer's den, chill out in the hotel amenities or just catch up with friends from around the world. As a major tourist destination of Australia, the Gold Coast welcomes a lot of tourists all of whom get very excited when they see us all walking around the streets and on the beach. It's extremely enjoyable seeing the public having a positive reaction and asking us for photos. It really was some of the best days of my life and I plan to go to more conventions in Australia and throughout the rest of the world. The convention also offers panels for presenters to share their experiences with newer furries. But the major events are firstly the fursuit walk, where everyone takes to the streets to interact, have fun and be in a lot of pictures, mostly taken by the public. The other major event is the fursuit dance competition. It's amazingly competitive and the fursuit dance competition videos are probably the most popular furry videos on YouTube. I was a bit too shy to enter into the dance competition, but I was able to enjoy a bit of tennis in the afternoon and got to settle my urge to dance at the nightly rave parties. Every furry event in Australia is non-profit and Furdu raised almost $6,000 for a local charity, the Animal Welfare League of Queensland. I have personally attended charity events with my partner Loop and help raise money and awareness for their causes, as our suits always bring a lot of extra attention. The first big charity event we did together was the Peak to Park Fun Run in Toowoomba. I only had my partial suit at that time, and we walked four kilometers to raise money and awareness for the Toowoomba Hospice and the Leukemia Foundation. The event organisers are used to a few people wearing interesting costumes, but they were amazed at ours. We promised them we would do it again next year in our full suits. It was a hot but very fulfilling day. Most recently, we joined our fellow poured friends in the Toowoomba Million Paws Walk, raising money for the RSPCA and awareness for people to adopt pets from a shelter. The event is unique as there are walks all over Australia on the same day, and furries everywhere join in. We were the only furries at the Toowoomba Walk, and we were rather popular with all the pets and their owners. This has just been my first 12 months in the furry fandom, and there is a lot more ahead of me. If you ever see us around, come and say hi. We're all very friendly people, just doing what we love.